sit back and relax while I listen to the Train Kickers podcast. I'm Dave, and along with my co-hosts Stan and Steve, I'm going to take you all around the world in miniature wargaming. Tonight's episode, we're going to discuss Warhammer 40k, and in particular, we're going to go through the various Eldar news that they have coming out, as well as some of the rumors that have been going around. And now, on to the show. All right, and how are you gentlemen this evening? I'm doing fine, Dave. I'm doing fine. Just uh, sitting here modeling my, oh, thank God, 20 blood letters out of 120. Uh, most because I bought most of the blood letters. Yeah, I know. Well, I, but the, the good news is that I bought most of the blood letters either lightly sprayed or, or not painted at all. So they are literally like not new and sprue. They're built, but they're blood letters. But the good news is like they're super easy to build. Literally, it's two legs. The, the legs don't matter. It's The two leg halves are exactly the same. They're just like, some have horns, some have don't, but they all have the same pose, I think is the way to put that, right? Okay. It's like, they all have different designs, but they're all the same exact pose. The body is all one piece, and the head is not one piece, it's two, but it it's literally like, it's it's, it's one of the easiest models I've ever had to build, essentially. I, I built nice. uh, I built nice. a pack of 10 or 20 years and years ago, and I do remember that, yeah, they... From what I remember, they went together pretty easy and were, were fun to paint, just being able to work with different shades of red. Yeah, and I found this really cool video from Games Workshop, actually, on how to paint them using contrast paints. So, Oh, no, they would uh, take very well to that. that because they're not they're not very smooth models, so it'll go very well. No, they got they had a little, like, little tiny nubbins, almost like, almost like pimples, you know, on their back and like, uh, like little, it's almost like a little tiny horn. I like them. They look really cool, in my opinion. All right, and how about uh, how about you, Steve? How are you doing this evening? I'm doing all right. Working on some more ten mil fantasy stuff because I have finally finished my Titanicus campaign. Not my models. I completely failed my uh, resolution to finish my uh, manifold by the end of the year before, but uh, the campaign I was running is finally finished. Nice. With that, uh, this big... Saturday. Yep, that was the big event this Saturday. Dan came up for it. Um, we played a big, basically we had a mega battle, and right. then several smaller games surrounding it, and the smaller games influenced the mega battle. Okay. Because, you know, not everyone wants to be at a table with six guys waiting their turn to roll dice, and people, you know, just want to be at their game. So, you know, a little bit of everything for everyone. They still got to, you know, have an influence on the larger fight without having to be in the thick of it. Right. And it That's actually just to some great okay. moments. Um, yeah, no, it was it was so, pretty fucking amazing. I will point out that Steve was an excellent host, um, and the games I do were what I can. fun. I do what I can. <laughs> so, yeah, so the mega battle is basically the remaining, narratively, is the remaining loyalists on the planet are making one last push to bleed the traitors as much as they can. Because at this point, they've lost it. They've lost the campaign. They don't have control of any major you know transporters or anything so like they're stuck on the planet and the um, rulers of the planet are all like yeah you know go go horus you know we don't want to pay these imperial tithes so you know we're gonna side with the traitors because you know fuck the emperor and um you know they're cut off and they're isolated so they're ha- fighting these guerrilla battles um a force gets sent up into the jungles where the last of Legio Tempestus, loyal Tempestus, is defending basically a giant geomantic cannon weapon thing. Basically like a, a super tactical earthquake machine. Okay. Um, so every other round, uh, whoever controls the center of that table gets to bring in a 10-inch blast onto the other table. And it's basically like a super quake round, so it's going to bypass shields, does a bunch of hits because the ground's unstable, you know, quake, concussive. It's not super strong, but, you know, it has lots of rumbling. Um, not super and, strong. Uh, I'm going to pause right there and say uh, mm-hmm. what it did do was, like, annoy. So, for example, one of them hit my um, my war, oh, me, war bringer, the bringer, bringer. Who, is, who is on first fire, and I was playing the maniple. I was playing the mega battle, so I had 4,000 points. So I actually had two maniples. And one of the mantles I brought was uh, my warbringers can use line of sight from the warhounds. Um, and he was literally ready to open up on two warhounds, 
that were shieldless completely with three volcano cannons um because he was also mutated with frozen soul um and the fucking quake cannon rotated him 45 degrees in the other direction to f basically shoot the other way which was fine because i still got shots down range but i'm just laughing because i was like god damn it <laughs> it was yeah. it was just funny it's like things like that um the loyalists began the game in control of it and they were running a uh, defense scenario so they were controlling the center of this table and um, traders are coming on for all the sides because, you know, they find out, oh, shit, Loyalists have this weapon. Send a force up to deal with them. Meanwhile, you know, there's a larger battle at the mega battle table. There's other table that was like the airfield that was providing, um, what's it called, airstrikes throughout the game to both sides. Never really had too big of an influence, though. But, yeah, nah, it was a good time. We had nine people plus myself come out to the event. Nice. Gave out awards for everyone for things they did throughout the rest of the campaign. Like I, you know, award. Award I don't know how I don't know how the uh, producer of the campaign gives himself an award. I don't know. I, I didn't get any awards. Call the... I should have. I should have gotten all of the awards because <laughs> I did the most terrain work. Call, call the ITC. I ate call the, the ITC. Most of this. <laughs> I was the best of the Black Shield players. It's fine. <laughs> oh, it's fine. I passed them all along to the second best. But no, it was it was a good time. Um, yeah, good turnout. Probably gonna run like a, a like a standard tournament in a couple months, like a month and a half or so. Um, you know, just to keep the Titanicus energy going. Yeah. Um, but I don't have like I don't have it in me to run another campaign right now. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because now it's epic. short break from that. Yeah. Now, now it's epic time. <laughs> no, 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 no. The next the next thing is going to be Zomortalis um, heresy. I'm hoping. Thousand point like intro sort of game, maybe okay. there could we'll be BFG on the side. Some of the Manhattan guys were saying they wanted a BFG thing, so I got to talk about that with people. BFG or Epic, going on there. <laughs> BFG okay. or Epic, I will take either or. You know me, two of my yeah. top two favorite games, literally my top two favorite games. I will one hundred percent show up for that. But uh, yeah, you know it's it's great the campaign. The campaign went really well. I'm really happy with all the work everyone put into it, you know, between the armies, the battle reports, just all of it. It was an absolutely wonderful experience to have. We, um, we raffled off a bunch of prizes between plastic kits and, you know, 3D prints, or either upgrades, yeah. or like painting oh, materials. You had some and then Dan really shows up, hey, support. I got this left over. Yeah, you got oh. some really good prize support. He three, Like, he 3D printed. Uh, don't worry, we won't say from where. <clears throat> But he 3D printed some really cool, epic-sized, like, heresy marines. I donated some of, like, the custodies that I wasn't using. Um, he actually had, like, Aeronautica boxes that I actually won. actually won one of the Aeronautica boxes. Um, he 3D printed... Um, uh, uh, it's not a Warhound. What the hell is it, Steve? Oh, the Hermes mech. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Victor Crane stuff from um, this month. It's a, it's a gorgeous kit, and I'm kind of sad. That I don't have one for myself, so I might be like, hey, I need another two or three of these printed. For no particular reason. Just basically a loader warhound. It's a it's a it's a war Yeah, it's, it's like warhound the Rookie Aliens there. mech crossed with the Sentinel crossed with the Warhound almost. Okay. Like it's all modular, so like you can put a crane on the back or loading arms in the front, little buzzsaw arms, or I think with a little bit of tweaking, you could yeah. probably fit no, warhound arms on it. No, I saw it. Some some guy was fooling around with it already. Nice. See, I'm. Oh, really I need to get my hands on one of those for myself because the three that I printed did all go home with someone. One here, two there. It was a, it was a good time. Oh, and uh, also some Lucius upgrades for Reavers, because two of our people were like, "Yeah, I kind of want to do a Storm Force as my second one." I'm like, "Oh, nice. You know, Forge Road Lucius is their home. Cool. I'll get some Lucius armor upgrades in the mix." Very nice. Good time. Good time. All right. That seems um, a little bit of a roundabout way we went about covering hobby, but I, I, that sounds like it's everyone's hobby. I know I didn't really do much of anything. I've just been busy with a whole bunch of other stuff, but that's fine. There's always, theoretically, this week, we'll see what I get into. 
Um, Dave is slowly grumbling into his computer. He's he's looking like sideways at his desk that is empty. No, no, no. Dust. Honestly, there's not that much <laughs> I'm painted around here. Honestly, um, I did get done four more uh, Marvel Crisis Protocol models. I think I have nice. four that are oh unpainted. Um, and I have like one Titan that needs to be painted. That's it. That's oh, and and a bunch of a Song of Ice and Fire. But you know, I, I'm not so worried about painting that. I'd like to paint more of it. But some of that can just be, it's not the more enjoyable painting that I like. So I'll get to some of it when I get to it. But otherwise, the main stuff that I would care about or I want painted is essentially done other than about four models and a Titan or two. So we'll, we'll see. But All right. So um, why don't we go through a bit of news then? For a while, because there's of course, of course. quite quite a quite a bit has actually been going on. Oh, yeah, um, no. Probably even more. We'll probably miss some too. Oh, we absolutely missed yeah. some. Um, since we ended up delaying when we were recording, I, I tried to grab a few of the other at least small things that had happened there because there was a few extras. Um, but why don't we start? Well, maybe we'll start with the quickest thing, which is pre-orders, because there's not many. Um, if we look um, at so yeah. so forty k wise, there is. It's like two things. It's not much because Eld Eldar get their their release coming up this upcoming week. Yeah, I was gonna say Saturday. Technically, the Eldar get their release, so technically we can include that one because they released what the pre orders were gonna be. And you know me, I'm gonna pick up dice because I always. What are you do. picking up dice for? Oh yeah, for I forgot Eldar. you have Eldar. You have Eldar. Yeah, I, yeah, I completely whole... forgot about that. That was actually Steve was the one who found me those boxes, uh, for super fucking cheap. And now they're like, because Eldar is super powerful and specifically Wraith units, they're like spiking on eBay. And I'm sitting yeah. there like, whoo, well, thank God I had the foresight to pick this shit up. Yeah. The, the only two pre-orders they have 40K wise were the the 30K models that we talked about last week, which the uh, Blade Angels one is actually temporarily out of stock. The uh, the other one that looks Double like our friend is not. Yeah. <laughs> which is surprising because the Blood Angel one is the worst match for the character. I I agree. I don't know why the Blood Angels one is out of stock in the Imperial. I love the Imperial Fist one. There's more Blood Angel players. That's what that says to me. Mm, true, but damn. More no, but Blood you, Angel did you see all the conversions that people did? Love. People started converting that model to like Chaos, or they started converting it to like um, Black Tem or Black Templar, right? You can do a lot of that with that model. I'm just, I'm just surprised. I'm just surprised. It, in my opinion, it's the stronger of the two models, but. You know, maybe the market speaks sometimes. Yeah. And I, I don't think the selling honestly I mean? has anything to do with 30K. I think it has to do with more 40K because people, there yes. might be more Blood Angel players there and they say, hey, this guy can be, you can count him as a captain, count him as wherever you want, or even just a star captain. They're still viable. Smash yeah. captains are still 100% viable. Um, and he's I, plastic too, which really helps. Yes. I do want to mention. Um, this this isn't pre-orders because they don't currently have it, but um, real quick, I just want to go through the, um, n before we get into new releases for 40Ks, the new releases for AOS. Have you looked at any of these? What they're calling new releases. Uh, you can't see my air not, quotes. Yeah, because I was going to say, the new releases are all what? They're like old models, but repackaged into boxes? Is Am I correct in that assumption? Not Yes and no. So GW likes to do this thing where, hey, we're going to save you some clicks. And that saving of clicks, they don't put it in one box. Essentially, they just ship you boxes. Um, so they came out with four of them. There's one for Sylvaneth, uh, Gloomspire Gets, um, Seraphon, and Sleeps the Darkness. And it's essentially the Star Collecting box, a leader styled unit it might actually be a a, a a hero or for some of the ones it might be like a bigger monster or something like that but leader style unit and then a a box or two of something else um usually actually usually a leader and then like one other thing or maybe two things like a duplicate of it zero savings on any of that surprise surprise because i went through and did the calculations but what you get their little bonus they give you is a poster yeah um, and there's only two of them because, like, the uh, Sylvaneth and the Gloomspire gets, it's the same poster. It's those two armies, like, fighting oh. each other. 
Um, no, it is not. Yeah. No, no, yeah. You didn't see any of this? Oh, my God, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's the same poster. The same thing Wait, the, for no, the no, Seraphon and the, and the no. Slaves of the Darkness. And the Seraphon and the Zinch one are the same, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the same exact poster. Oh, my God, GW, please. And, and I checked it because I was like, I was like, that's probably no savings because the Glades of the Broken Vines, I'm like, that's 261. I'm like, that's that's a weird price. That sounds to me like it's the exact price because why would you go so particular with that number? So I calculate it. It's like, yeah, no, it, there's zero savings. You just get a poster. I don't know if it says how big it is. Not that I want it, but I'm curious. Is it, is it even like a, like sizable? Probably not. No, I doubt it. It's probably like those big box set posters. Yeah, like the one that I had from uh, Shadow. Ultra Jomans? Yeah. yeah. It's not big. It's just not you know, worth the, the... I don't know. That's stupid. Not, I agree. In my opinion, that's dumb. Um, yeah, that's all they had there. So I just wanted to, I wanted to mention that real fast because I noticed that earlier and it was dumb. So I wanted to talk about it. So we'll we'll go to the we'll go to the forty k stuff. We'll swap was. over that side. Um, <laughs> Tau have all their all their releases out now. They have their dice, which will soon be going up in price and all that. But we'll talk prices uh, in a little bit. Um, there's a Sororitas got some dice. There's some different uh, Space Marine type captains and Primaris stuff. A bunch of the the um, the full sets for Tau stuff has sold out. Surprise, surprise! But Tau didn't get a lot surprise. of new things. Um, they they got their data cards, they got their dice, and their rule book. The other thing, and what Dark Strider is new, and I think one of the Ethereals might be new. And then they have a limited printing where you can get um get some of the other Ethereals. I think until honestly, I think it might be until tomorrow. We're recording on the twenty first. I think it's like the twenty second or something that you oh, can okay. get those so done. Yeah, by the, by the time this goes out, it'll be gone because I'm not editing this tonight. Um, so I, I mean, Tau have Ooh, been doing quite well. Releases, I mean, Go ahead. I mean, honestly, so uh, it's not that many releases in the no. time we were gone. Honestly, it was more news about Eldar that like yes that dropped essentially. Yeah. Um. I, I mean, Tau are, are doing quite well. There's a lot of news related to Tau, but not necessarily releases oh, yes. we'll and things about that like that. Well. Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah. Um, the new other like new release wise, um, particular thing I wanted to mention, and and I wrote this down in the notes is Eldritch Omens and just the just the flop it's become. It is it makes it's, sense. You know what's really funny. What's that? It's also going up in price. Yes, it is in March. Yes, it is. It makes I thought sense. that was hilarious. Ten more dollars. <laughs> Just so, to stick it to all those non-Imperium players, here's an extra ten dollar tax. Because it, it, but it makes sense, all right. So when you release the Custodes and the and the Gene Stealer Colts, mm -hmm. you had two new codexes coming out, and you already knew that one or two of the codexes were going to be super powered, right? And you know, Custodes are in triple S tier, but Gene Stealer Colts are not, you know, far behind. They still they don't no, they're get good. top table, but they're still a very hard army. You know. But what also, I mean? what was the price point of that box? Do you remember? Oh. <clears throat> Was it 180? Or usually, it usually the the price point's 170. Or 170. Okay, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was one of those. Omens was 200 to start. Yep. Wait, I'm sorry. What? Elder Omens 200. Yep. Why? And it went up to 210. Well, yeah. it is going up to 210. Yep. So you're telling US. me yeah, this was the meme. You're telling me Chaos Space Marines had a price increase before they had a wound increase? Oof. Yes. Absolutely. The Yikes. There's a few big problems with the box. One, one is the extra thirty in cost, and the hope is uh, from different things I was listening to. Some people were saying that you know, some of these decisions were made months and months and months ago. This could have been a decision decided on six months ago. And the idea is, you know, have they corrected the ship now? Did they did they do this and then realize it's a problem? And since I've talked about, you know, oh, we're we're changing some things or fixing it up. Let's hope. I think the biggest problem is the lack of models. It's 16 models. Yeah. yeah. I had more. We had more models in the custodians room. Really. Actually, yes. someone was comparing they it with. They could um, have thrown in the new Guardian squad at the very least. I mean, yes. You, look, remember, I don't know if you guys remember Dark Vengeance, right? That was just Dark Angels versus um, was it Chaos, I think, at the time. Yes, it was Chaos. Um, yep. And that came with like 36 models. Yes. For less price. Or more than 36 wasn't it yeah. wasn't it like 40 oh was yeah, like I, was just, I, I very roughly counted it, off it had like 20 time. cultists 10 tacticals five terminators three bikes yeah, five yeah, chosen 
So, yeah, like, DW, come on. It, it's, come on. it's the box with the least amount of models. It doesn't have, I mean, it has some that are new. You have a whole There's side one that we. One old, the rest is new. Okay. But, All right. So, so one, but, and you have a whole side that they don't know when they're going to get their book. So, and they're still one mood. They're yeah. still one mood. Even if they weren't, let's let's say they up them to two wounds. Let's say tomorrow they up them to two wounds. That box still isn't selling because you're still not getting your book. You have no idea when you're getting your book. The next book after Eldar is Tyranids. Yes, it is. And, and Tyranids are rumored for end of March, maybe maybe early yeah. April, some those, that sort of time frame. Those weeks are, oh man, everything is getting super powered very quickly. I'll talk to you about the leaks later. Yeah. Oh, no, that's fine. I've, I've been keeping up with those because I keep going back and forth if I if I want to get some Necrons or some Tyranids because they both look cool. Just um, get Tyranids. If, I, if I want to potentially do well, yes. Necrons, yeah. I like the idea of painting them up and the everything like that. Alone, seeing his stats was just absolutely insane. Yes, although what I will say is he lost a few things. His invul save is but worse. He... he lost a couple other potential special rules from... Um, I was reading some of the leaks on the uh, one of the Facebook pages I was on uh, yesterday. Yeah. I'm not saying he's not going to be good. And the big thing is we don't know yeah. any points. He could That's be amazing, guard. but if GW yeah. up the points, they shouldn't. Absolutely. That's but not un GW still has not changed bodyguard. So you stick Swarm Lord out in the front and you stick his bodyguard unit behind a building. Guess what? Yeah. You saw this happen during our, my game with Luke. Oh, yeah. It's um, awful. You can't shoot him. Yeah. yeah. Body bodyguards. Crazy. Well, would bodyguard protect? Does it matter the number of wounds you have for bodyguard? No, it does not. Oh, no, okay. It does not, which All is right. why people were arguing about a uh, long strike. Okay. Because long strike is a character in a hammerhead, and if you stick a crisis battle suit squad next to him, the bodyguard pressure, you cannot shoot him. Oh, okay. Stick them behind a building, and you stick him in front of the building, and you just go ham with fucking long strike in a hammerhead. Who just one shots pretty much anything on the board, um, and what that does is it artificially adds value to units like Hive Guard, Basilisks, and like and those stupid um, buggies for the orcs, because using mm -hmm. the indirect fire, so they can actually you know play a kill the game. Bodyguard. Wait, 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 wait. This is a game. <laughs> just to have like interactions between players. No, it, that's news to me. No, no, you buy news models, and you let them sit there. And you go and you get your 16 models from your Eldritch Omens box. And then you lament the fact that maybe you'll get a codex in May. And maybe then you'll have your two wounds. Maybe. Maybe. But don't, if they don't get two wounds, I'm just going to laugh. They got to give them two Who's wounds. Who's going to stop by long strike and can't shoot back? <laughs> My God. <laughs> now, um, when you think of any other box that they've done, every other box has more models. This is the least amount of models for the highest price. Think of like think of starter sets. Think of Dominion. Dominion was 200 you got a rule book. You've got a lot more models than this. Got, it's almost that many models per faction. Yeah. You know, you you get a lot more. This box, it doesn't really get much. The pairing to me is a little bit odd because you still have to get to the point of you, you. There's probably not a great chance you necessarily have both armies yourself. Some people will, but most people won't. So then you still got to find someone to actually split the box with. And I got to split it with someone and hope that you think, you know, the seven models I might hand you or eight models I might hand you are worth a hundred bucks and they're not yeah, so not at all and then as you said yeah it's going to go into 210 um I'm not going to display up um for anyone watching on YouTube um you can find these if you look around you can find the spreadsheets I'm not going to put the spreadsheets up just in case um have either of you guys actually went through the spreadsheet and yeah, lamented it going up by about 10%. I had to for work yeah <laughs> That makes sense. Yeah. Like I'm forced. Uh, so, so when you said everything about ten percent, that that's sort of like the the overall average, but that is greatly skewed in many many ways. Um, yeah. There is oddly enough a few things that went down in price. Very few. It's like certain bases actually went down in price. Um, Wait, some certain, what? certain bases. So like forty k bike bases actually went down. down. By like twenty five cents, but they technically actually went down. Um, dice sets went up, so like um, current dice sets are what thirty five. They're all going up to thirty eight. Oh, um, the little cubes are a little bit more. Like I said, the uh, Elder Jomans going to two ten. Um, 
Titanicus, roughly 10% across the line when you take a look at it. I sorted the other day by some of the highest. Let's Blood Bowl got kind of screwed. Blood, yeah, Blood Bowl's about essentially 20% or more across the board. Yeah, Blood Bowl got fucked. I, I saw that. Let me, let me, I mean, this goes sorry. back to... I mean, like, listen, this goes back to... Do I feel bad about 3D printing Epic or Battlefleet Gothic? I really don't. Because for $100... Um, I could be playing a game. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, and I'm a lot of here, other systems I'm you can do here, roughly that. Yeah. Exactly, and I, I mean, I'm sitting here building blood letters, of course. But the blood letters are all secondhand from people who didn't want them. Yeah. So I got you know a billion blood letters for super cheap. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Uh, and of course, knowing me, as the joke always will stand, anytime I buy an army, it's going to become overpowered. So. Now that I'm doing blood letters, God knows that corn is going to come around and be like the most powerful thing in the entire goddamn game. Well, yeah, they got Kabanda. Oh my God! No, the, the, you don't understand. So Steve, every Wait time I've started his rules army, drop. Yeah, every time I started a fucking army, every time, and this is without a doubt, it has gotten super powered rules. The only time this has not happened was Beast of Chaos, and it's only because I sold my Beast of Chaos <laughs> before the White Dwarf update came. It, it, it goes without a doubt that any army I buy eventually becomes overpowered, and I don't know why this happens, but whatever. Because uh, you buy them a some amount of time before GW puts out the new book. Because when GW is going to put out the new book, they're going to get good. Whatever it is, that's just sort of the general trend. The new book comes out, the thing is good. And then I get accused of uh, net listing, and I'm just sitting there like, but I, I had this army for years. Um, um, highest percentage. I, percentage is not a good way to necessarily mark this, but higher percentages are in the near near forty percent. Um, so like cads and snipers, like a lot of stuffs going from eighteen to like twenty five. Not, not a huge amount, but the, it's sort of that price. It's not. So when you hear thirty percent or something like that, it's bad but for still those eighteen to twenty five. That's still a big jump. That's still it, for it that's is. Oh, percentage wise, is a huge jump. Or two yeah. models. Increase. Yes, because that's like a two bottle box, right? Yes. yes. So each model went up three dollars fifty cents. Yeah. yeah, that's significant. Yeah, when when you hear that's, oh, it's you know ridiculous. thirty thirty some percent, it sounds bad. When you look at the individual, yeah, it's not nearly as much as certain other things. But the percentage wise, what you're now paying for those little bits, yeah, it it got um it got a lot higher. Yeah, all all the blisters got hit hard, like really hard. Yes, it's weird yes, because did. the blisters are the ones that people usually traffic the most. Yeah, they're usually the ones who everyone buys second hand. Yeah. That's the weird part about it. Yeah. Most Blood Bowls, 25% actually taking a look at it, just scrolling through. I, said, I, I picked out particular little things I remember going through just looking for, for certain stuff. I said the average is probably between 5 to 10%. And there's a few items that didn't go up. They didn't put their, their paints up, which is good because they're going to start out classing people. The books all went up by 5. That Does, actually do, sucks too because I do like... The I books are like already them. horrible value. Yes, they are. Yeah, the books are already bad. What I'm now, I know the answer to this. I want to, I want to see what they do, but I already know the answer to this. So th they said the books went up because printing went up. Okay, printing went up. Then the digital better not go up. But I'm sure they are. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think the, digi the digital didn't go up the last time I checked. But They're if not. it does, not I, I I'll, saw. I'll be very happy if it doesn't. So I'll be surprised, but I'll be deal. very, very happy if it doesn't. They don't want to lose physical book sales to digital books. Yeah. So they're going to raise the digital as well, because oh, digital has so. was always <sighs> the same as physical until that's, recently, I believe. Yeah, that's right? so fucking pissy. That 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 takes a piss, man. That yeah. really does. I mean, none none of this. If you look through it, none of it's going to change your mind of, of doing the hobby or playing the game or anything like that. I don't no. think any of that's true. You know, a, a difference of of some percentages is going to change my mind. I think it does start making it where, you know maybe i can't get new people in yeah well getting yeah, new people no, in, i think no, is a problem no, no. or you have One to them... describe it to them in a way where it's you're you're not you're not going to start an army what you're going to start is you're going to buy a box yeah. and then when those are done and painted and ready okay you know it's been a couple weeks or a month now you get the next one and the next one and it'll be a while before you're ready I and mean, it, it's no longer that impulse hey i'm going to get all this stuff and i'm going to be starting this faction uh, if you're not if you're buying it firsthand and it sucks because I did want to start a uh, 
like I know my friend Brett um, started a uh, a Warhammer Forty Thousand club or a gaming club in his school, and it went really well. Yeah. Um, but he's also the more affluent district. I can't start that in Elizabeth. No, you cannot. It, it, what do I tell the kids with the parents? Oh, here's a, you know, your kid's addicted to this game now, but here's a fifty dollar box for ten months. Get the fuck out of here. They'd rather spend fifty dollars on a video game. Yeah. It's just it to me it it it, it sucks because it gets harder to introduce people and then you're screwing the people who actually enjoy the hobby yes because let's face it prices never go down if shipping in one day gets gets much more settled and and there's not those sort of concerns we're not going to be losing any of these prices you know no company ever lowers their prices no, you know you never lowers prices. no 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 so like company three does. items that really? went down are the first time i've ever seen games where that is true. lower a price and the sale on the Aeronautica boxes, what was it, like six months ago? It yeah. was the first time I've seen a sale in 15 years with Games Workshop. Yeah. <sighs> it, it, it's never going back. No, no. And, and nothing does. And they're going to, and next time way. inflation like goes anywhere, next time the United States dollar goes up in value or down in value or any direction compared to the pound, they'll raise prices again. Yep. Yeah. That's just uh, what they do. If the pound gets stronger, they raise prices to make up for it. If the pound gets weaker, they raise prices to make up for it. Like they, they only ever ratchet prices up. I, I th honestly, I think you will see a bubble at some point, and I think that bubble okay. is when, when you looked at the financials of the most recent year. Yeah, they made more money than last year, but model sales were further down. Model sales mm -hmm. actually lost ground, and I think yep. this year, if they see the same and that trend continues. They're going to have to do something because people are just going to get it secondhand or print it or just play other games or figure something out. And I think when it starts actually lowering the amount of money they make, that's when they're going to have to answer to the shareholders. And why is yep. what should what should have at one point been the lion's share of your business now suddenly losing us I mean, we, more money? We, talk, we talked about this with Infinity. You look at a game like Infinity mm. that requires less models, right? Mm. The the army builder is free online. They just yep. released, um, what, what are they just released new models? Um, oh, damn it, I forgot what the new models were. But the army, the I don't have to buy a book. It's yep. literally updated on the army builder. I just have to type in the damn name, and it's there. Yep. No book to buy. Nothing. The rules are right there, ready to go. Yeah. Um that alone, I think, would help help out honestly so so much if they just did that just put the rules up but i think they opened pandora's box dave people are already paying like myself i play for warhammer plus um mostly for the video content because that new tau show honestly that that i support that that new tau show was that video was good um but steve and i also discussed about like how they already have all the shows ready and they just kind of stagger the release which is kind of annoying um uh, you that, have like, to though because otherwise people yeah, will stream exactly. it all on a weekend and then you got nothing. Yeah, exactly. Um, but the thing is, the app, right, that I use is still broken. The yeah. 40K app. The Sigmar app is fine, believe it or not. I don't know That's, whoever it is. Yeah, the Sigmar, Sigmar app. app is great, honestly. I think it works very, great. very well. I love it. But the 40K app is 1,000% broken. Um, and I think I was even showing you one day. Like, the price went up when you add them as a court, even though it's free. Right? Yeah. I don't know if I, you were there. Yeah, it's just it's, – it's, it's just – it's so – it's so sad. It really is. <sighs> Whatever. I, I, I do think there will be a change. I think just because they're going to start losing money on it, it's going to start going down to a point and it's going to look really bad. I'm not yep. saying it's going to necessarily make things cheaper, but I think it might maybe stop the increases or, or who knows. But it, it will become I'm a sure problem. I, think. Will be bad. Yeah. I, I mean, it has to. Because, you know, when, when I'm looking There's at some of the stuff I'm direction. doing, yeah, I'm going to be looking at seeing if I can get it from other people. Yeah. That's or, why, again, I started a corn mm -hmm. army literally on the backs of other people. Yeah. Sorry. Or you go not to places sorry, that sorry. give a percentage off. Because there's a lot yep, of stores exactly. who know that their players are only going to get it if they give them the 10 to 20% off. 20% you know? off. Yep. Talk to your local stores. See if they do those dis sort of discounts. You know, Most you, you shop where you want to play and shop where it's going to give you a good deal. pricing policy is 15% off advertise i should say yeah. is your correct keyword there for people listening yeah well for the longest time they didn't um, let you advertise it that's why it wasn't ever listed anywhere yeah. 
I mean, there is good news, though. Besides all this, I mean, not to move yeah. on, but there is good news, and that's Eldar um, for the first time. So Eldar haven't been strong since... Oh, Fourth, God. maybe? When was Wave Servant Span? Was that 5th edition? Oh, wait, no. 7th edition. Ugh. No, uh, oh, because they blew their mortal wound shield. Oh, I yeah. forgot about that. No, but yeah. like, okay, so that was the one Eldar. trick pony, and Ugh. they still didn't really win tournament. When was the last time that Eldar was like, like, oh, fuck, it's Eldar on the table? Pure Eldar? The Wave yeah. Serpents, which was 7th edition, I think. I don't think it was 7th. Right? I think it was like 5th or 6th, maybe. Yeah, they, they had... I think around the time of, of, of 5th and the 6th, they had some Wave Serpent spam stuff. In seventh, they might have as well. I honestly just wasn't following the game at that point. Um, but, <laughs> but the point I'm making is, um, you know, a lot of Eldari info has come out. This is besides the leaks, of course, that we've been seeing for weeks and weeks yeah. and weeks. And the one dude who released like an advent calendar of Eldari leaks, which all have turned out correct, by the way. So whoever this yes. dude is, he did he Custodes leaks, he did Junior leaks, and he did the Elder leaks. He's now doing Tyranid leaks. So. Yeah. He's, he's three for stuff. three right now, so four for he does toss in some wrong information, but it's kind of obvious what the information is. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, you know, I think one of the Swarm Lord has twenty four attacks. You know, you're like, oh, okay. Um, so he's gotta keep down your toes. Sounds reasonable to me. Yeah, sounds sounds reasonable good to me. me. Yeah. Um, um so he, why don't we ahead, why don't we start right with here. the Avatar? Because he's the first one I got pulled yes. up here. Oh, yes. Oh. We can actually just go um, in the order we have in the notes. Yeah, exactly. I'm a big fan of the Avatar, first of all. I love the model. The Forge World model was um was um uh, amazing good. um i did yeah. not like the old i did not like the old gw model for the avatar and now not. the new model looks <laughs> the old model was a tiny I, piece of I, shit I, like most old models yes it was it was no i'm not gonna yeah the fourth one model was great and the new model looks amazing and i play a wraith army i play a yandan so avatar really doesn't fit with a yandan but i might just get him as a because like he's just awesome um pretty yeah. I might just get him. What's your um, favorite head? Oh, man. Okay. It's classic or it's the, <laughs> I call it the Illidan head from World of Warcraft. Um, yeah. um, but it's either the classic or the Illidan. I'm going to say the classic. I don't like the Spartan one. I know a lot no, of people like, I do the, not like, the, Spartan I don't like one. the Spartan one. No. It's oh. either the helmetless or the, the classic. But the axe, hands down, we'll be arming it with an axe. Yeah. 1000% we'll be arming it with an axe. So, I mean, this, so, so I, have, I have his stats pulled up here. This boy definitely just got better all along the way. You know, um, he just got better. Yeah. Main move went up by three inches. You know, so uh, the assumption, at least off of this, not looking at leaks, to me, anything in red on this are the things that change as as they start um, degrading. Um, Got a lot more wounds. So he got six more Correct. wounds, two more attacks, an extra leadership. His save went to a two up. Um, He has his invul save. Extra strength, two extra in the toughness, so he he's a walking juggernaut. He also halves all damage coming in. He has yes, a four plus save. He is literally the walking god of death, and I'm all yes. for it. Not even mad. He's always been a cool model, and in lore, I want to mm. point out they they do him fucking dirty sometimes because in lore he's yeah. either a god upon the battlefield, and there's um one scene where they hot not hot drop him, but he gets summoned and the ship blows up. He gets summoned in the ship, the ship blows up. This motherfucker hot drops from orbit on top of a Titan and cleaves it. Like, <laughs> that's God of... Like, that's Rage of Cain kind of nonsense. And then other times he's, you know, burnt to death by, um... Whatchamacallit? Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, he's burnt to death by bolters, you know? Yeah. So... You get some, you lose some. But honestly, like I'm really happy with him. Yeah. I, he 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 looks not even mad. Would not be mad if he killed Custodes. He's supposed to be the god of death. Yeah. His Literally. We the god his of his death. weapon got a nice upgrade. Melee, so he can either double strength, AP minus five, D six plus two. And I like when they start adding in fixed values. You know, he shouldn't be hitting for one damage. D six plus two. At least you're hitting for three. You're getting good numbers out. So you're yeah. sitting at strength fourteen. Agreed. You're wounding. You know, almost anything you want. At worst case, a three, but most stuff you're going to be swinging out twos, or you can sweep. So instead, he's swinging fourteen attacks, AP minus two, two damage. So even cutting through marines, 
Um, even I should point out even Death Guard because remember Death Guard do minus one damage. Yes, but that's still AP minus two, so that's a five up. So wait, how many attacks is it? Fourteen. Uh, he would have Getting fourteen if he was doing the the two. Uh, th- so with the on sweep. two, so it's that's twelve hits. Um, wounding on three, so that's seven wounds. Um, that's still two and a half Marines dead. Three Marines dead with the damage minus one, out of a squad of five. That's yes, really good. And that's assuming you don't have any rerolls or any other sort of buffs. And let's face it, they're Eldar. They're sure. going to. We have uh, at least now, maybe in some of the stuff they've spoiled or that you've seen, you know, some of their psychic powers. But I guarantee there's going to be powers that are going to help them out or powers that are going to cause you to be able to reroll everything or or who knows um, what. Those actually got leaked. Oh, okay. I will talk about them, but yeah, for legal reasons. But um, yeah, no, those got leaked. And there's nothing say... wrong with talking about leaks. That's absolutely fine. Oh, I'm not going to throw them up there, no, but no, we can talk about the, it. The, the, the leaks are very good. They got rid of um, uh, they got rid of one that I actually hated using, but it was the most powerful, which is uh, hex, not hex. Uh, I know it's called death hex by chaos. Um, oh, what's it called? Not jinx. Um, yeah, it was jinx. Where you remove the invulnerable save of someone. Yes. Um, now it's just you you subtract one from their armor and invulnerable. Do you subtract uh, one from still... their invulnerable? Yes. Wow. All right. But no, before it was remove all invulnerable. Yeah. So that was even bigger up. But you still subtract one is 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 Not very something. big. Absolutely. Um and um um, they can move again with their psychic powers. They can get a, extra attacks with their psychic powers. Now, I'm speaking specifically about um, spirit abilities, only mm. because I play wraiths. So I use spirit hosts, which use their spells. Um, but yeah, they, they, their spells just got overall better. And they're also easier to use, too. Most of their spells now cast on five and six. That's... No, that that's... That's really good. Why, why, they don't need fives and sixes for what they have. Yeah. And they get bonuses to casting too. So it's even like they're, they're getting their spells off unless you deny them. All right. So, so, so we got him. He's a big boy on the block. Um, what is the next one? It was Guardians. So they were, because they've been just showing just aspect after aspect, which has been nice. Um, when we take a look at I, them, I don't run Guardian, so this has no. I, I kind of, I don't think I even read this to be quite honest. Look at you. You don't, you don't even. You don't. You're <laughs> like, hmm, it. not exactly my thing, so I'm not going to bother looking at it. Yeah, I'm not going to ever buy them. You don't have to buy them, but when you're, you know, when you're on a podcast, the goal is to talk about. You want to take a look at them a bit. Um, there. So I'll go through some of their some of their changes. Then one, their save got better. So, and that's just, that's honestly the only change from their base stat line. They have better that, and their weapons um, ended up getting a bit better. Yeah. I think those are... That serpent shield looks really good, too. Uh, each time a range day, they have um, mini uh, transhuman. Any unmodified rules of one or two for the attack fails. Yes. Yeah, their catapult, oh, um, the catapult got an AP before it did not. Um, and it still has a shuriken rule. Uh, I I don't they might have shown that I haven't seen it it's probably reasonably similar yeah and then they got the little little gonna, defensive uh, shield for, I'm gonna be honest from all the other things that the aspect warriors got like fire mm-hmm. dragons and 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 um, striking scorpions and howling banshees um, I'm sorry these guys just look I I I don't know why I'd ever take these guys I would just take something else because they're troops. But striking scorpions are troops with a uh, K- Karandris. So if you're if you're wanting to take your Phoenix Lords, yes. If you're not taking yeah, your Phoenix yeah. Lords, then they're not. Oh, true. I mean, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, but I'm just, I'm uh, that's really like, that's eh. one of the big things. And also, you you know, this I said this, depending on what you do, sometimes the units could be a little bit cheaper. Some of the other ones are a little bit more. It depends on the the goal that you want. I said these guys sit somewhere with a five up invul. They sit on an objective, maybe not the middle, but one of the other objectives a little further up. That's actually what sit I do there with my sisters. Fire away. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they can I mean, absolutely they, do the that. The fact that we have a final pinball makes them actually stronger than my sisters. Oh, absolutely. So they're probably going to be the same cost. From what I've seen, it seems like this whole army is essentially five of pinballs. Um, uh, well, all their aspects yeah. are. Or at least yeah. so far what they've shown. I think every a- aspect armor gives you a five of pinball. And thus the war of invuls continues. <laughs> well, when you, when you have this sort of um, escalation of damage, which is what we see now, you know, the standard yep. damage types seem to be two or three and all. Then okay, well here's the way you save against it. 
Now, these guys, that doesn't really matter because they're only one. You have an escalation of ignoring invuls, too, which is hilarious. I haven't seen that as much. They're very well uh, might Tau, be. Tau, Eldar. Much. Eldar do ignore invuls with some of their stuff. Yeah. Tau do on what? One gun and there's I think they have stratagem? And yeah. So gun there's and a stratagem. stratagem and there's um, uh, uh, two or three guns that do it. Yeah. Um, they have those as well. So they talk about what guardians or, or storm blades. So they have a little bit there for re rolls. Um, which is good. I mean, like I said, they're they're your they're your troop. Yeah. And they upgraded the platform, which is nice because their platform yeah. not so That's what great. I was talking about before. The mini transhuman where you can't be wounded on a one or a two. Yeah. I, I, that's gonna make them good objective holders. It's a nice cheap little objective holder. Yeah, I agree. So from there, see from there it goes to aspects. Cool. So this, this, like I said, for all the different aspects they brought out, it's an aspect armor. So they just automatically have a five of Bimble now. Yeah. Which, which is you're going to want powerful. aspect warriors. So yeah, that that's super super powerful. Yes. Um, it automatically makes them like and I know me, John's a long time Eldar player. Yes, he um, is. Freaking has models older than I do. <laughs> than I'm than I am. Sorry. Yes, he does. Um. And he was like, that was one of the big changes. He was like guessing. And he goes, just give them a five up interval or even a six up interval. And that automatically makes them just all that more tougher to kill. Yeah. Um, but the weapons are great too. Yeah. Like going in order. Let's see. Where, uh, uh, Avenger and and Dire Avengers are our troops. As well. Oh, sorry. We already. Assault? Yeah. Assault three. Yeah. Assault three though. Assault three is AP minus two. So the, here, Bane, Bane of Custodes right now. Mm -hmm. Um. People are always like, oh, Bane of Custodes, just toss last cans at them. No, that's not what you no. do. Bane of Custodes are high AP, high shot, damage one, yeah. right? So like Vulcan Mega Bolters that have 12 shots, strength six, AP minus three, two damage, right? Because I'm going to be taking most likely 10 saves at my four up. Yes. Versus my one save at a four, four up, up with a Laz cannon. Yeah. If, so, if someone's going to shrug off half of what you do, you want to do more of it at a lower damage profile. That's absolutely yes. better. With a high AP. That's the big thing with a high. And AP minus two is absolutely a high AP. Yeah. But the, the minus two is what you need. If you get to minus two, even if yeah. you only get to a minus one on a three up, if I'm just, I'd rather that on a multitude of dice than one shot on a 50 50. Exactly. Um, well, th this automatically already is, yeah. is a pretty good gun. But so these the, their catapult. Oh. Well, their ca so their catapult okay. got an extra shot. Their assault three instead of assault two. The AP is new because before they're AP zero, so we're seeing increase of AP across the board. Also, I think with the, the damage is farther. one. Now, nah, eighteen inches. It was eighteen right? inches before. Oh, it was eighteen. I thought yep. it was twelve. Okay. Yeah, I have it pulled up. Yeah, it was eighteen before. Okay, okay. Good, 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 good. So, dragons. dragons. I know fire oh, dragons oh went up in a toughness. I know they say yes, that toughness four, which, which automatic. Oh, Rosie, hello, Rosie. No, 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 no. So toughness four already ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then I'm trying to pull up their the, weapon there, uh, to see exactly. I have the right difference. here assault one. Well, I know what their old weapon is. It sucks. Mm -hmm. um, Twelve inches though, assault one, strength yep. nine. Yep, so AP it's up to strength. Yep. Same AP. D six plus two damage. And it's got plus two, or it's just a D six. Yep. And I don't think they had this before. Reroll wound rolls of one on a vehicle or monster. Uh, they did. Yes, they did have a short okay, destruction. They did? Okay, perfect. Yeah. So yeah, the D six plus two and strength nine, mwah, beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> like that's uh, most monsters in the game, most heavy tanks in the game are toughness eight. I don't think there's any. Is there a toughness nine? There's probably something, uh, but it's uh, yeah, it's Forge World, the Cerberus. Yeah. Is he really? Wow. Okay. Yeah. And okay. do note that Tyranids do have the strap for the Mal Scepter to decrease strength of incoming shooting by one. Yeah. Oh, so this and is really number of, And they have a number of toughness eight monsters. So that's a yeah, nice so this is buff. super helpful. Which means at yeah. least you're still wounding on fours instead of, instead of fives. Five. No, that, that's, yeah. that's really good. That's really, really good. Um, Let me see here. They go. Warp spiders, oh man, or not warp spiders, yeah, warp spiders, yeah, warp spiders. That, I love them, no one takes them. I love them because they weren't I, so I, I, good at one point. They were uh, very good, there was a point when they were very, very good, but they didn't stay yeah. there for very long. And yeah, now because it's they were just really good because of um, 
they had the ability to, I, and this I do remember, I think this was fifth edition, I'm telling you, where they had the ability, if, if you target them with a shot, you can pick them up and deep strike them somewhere else. I'm pretty sure. Which sh- made them accept. I think that was sixth, because I played fifth, okay, yeah. and I kind of stopped playing in sixth, and I don't think that was a thing when I was playing, but I could be wrong. Yeah, no. So that was one of their special abilities. So that's why I'm like, oh, yeah, no, no, that, that, that. Get, Rosie, please, Rosie. My cat is like, please give me attention. <laughs> oh my god! But, me, but, um, you can... but yeah, no, that was their big. That's why they were so powerful. You can literally pick them up and just move yeah. them, which was. <laughs> and and their weapon. I mean, <laughs> again, <laughs> it's it's a gain of AP. They had none. Now it's AP two. Still one damage, but AP two is good. Strength six, stay the same. But now it's assault D six. So, you know, five out of six times, it's no worse, and four out of six. So you know two-thirds of the time you are getting more shots like yeah there's yeah. a chance you roll a bunch of ones but in general you're Although, just gonna be doing a lot better on average if you're rolling a squad average would of be five, a, between three to four if you're rolling a squad yeah. of if you have a squad of five your average in that case you're looking at about 17 and a half or so shots which is a gain of 10 or a gain of seven yeah which is insane yeah yeah and you could you i mean you could spike a little bit one way or the other but you yeah, spike exactly, up, you're going to do a whole lot. The average is still higher. Yeah. It's, it, it pushes the average higher. If Absolutely. If I'm doing my math correctly. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, they men- oh, they mention oh. about Howling Banshees. You did men. I'm not sure if this is... Can you check the weapon? Is it Blast in the old rules? Um, Let me take a look. Um, They don't have it there, so my guess is no. Okay. So it must this is not big. have been, but I'll, I'll check it real fast. I didn't notice this at first. Um. And I, I remember looking at this many weeks ago, and they were like, oh, shit. Yeah, it's Blast. No, it was Meaning not Blast. Targeting a squ- so, blast. yeah. So, if this is targeting a squad of five or more people, that D6 now becomes D6 min three. And if they're targeting a squad of ten or more people, mm-hmm. that's six shots per. Okay. I forgot. Yeah, that's, that's what Blast does. So, you, yeah. you, you go against bigger targets. That's what they're good yeah. at. Strike and, six AP two will absolutely wipe that. Oh, the, the big thing with Tyranids is they well now they do thick city. They but do. One of the big things that they used to First do was AP. you know the thirty man devourer squad with yeah. I think it was quadruple firing devourers right mm-hmm. and AP minus two that that nonsense. Um, just point this in that general direction and they're gone. Well, so if you're your damage one weapon, but when you think about a a larger squad, a larger squad is going to tend to be your one wound, maybe two wound style models. You're not going to have, you know, exactly. 15 models at multiple wounds. So that's exactly who you want to hit it against. Because yeah. I'm going to get six attacks on each. I'm going to get 30 attacks. We're going to put all kinds of psychic powers in. So I'm re-rolling probably tons of stuff, wounding you well. AP minus two. If you're a giant horde, you're not going to have great armor. And you're probably going to be one wound each. So I'm going to start wiping the floor with you. Yep. I got to get there first because I get within 12. But if I can get there, horrible, horrible things are going to happen to you. So uh, the aspects I like. I think they look good. Yeah, I agree. They, um, also remember, they have battle focus as well, which yes. uh, lets them move after shift. So yeah, no, I, I agree that this this was a cool preview in my opinion. Yeah. They uh, they did so many. So they got Prince Uriel. Oh, I didn't actually look one. through him. I don't know much of him, so, honestly. This one I will talk about okay, because good. I, I did not he looks know cool. this, and I had to be educated in fluff. Okay. So I play Wraith, right? Yeah. I play Wraiths. I so know the Uriel, the, Uriel, blah, 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 yeah. Uriel, Uriel preview was like, oh, who gives a shit? I don't care. He's Corsairs. But he's a Yandin. Yes. Meaning he is part of the Wraiths, right? Mm-hmm. So first of all, he wasn't that great. So let's talk about his new. So first of all, um, six inches, you know, reroll hits rolls of one. So he's got his normal command ability. And a Yandin yeah. core, fun fact, uh, wraiths are a Yandin core. I'll get to that and why this is important in a minute. Um, oh, it says wraith guard. But yeah, no. So wraith guard are core, right? Mm-hmm. Get to that in a moment. Why that's important. So <laughs> I'll be with... Um, he can also put people in reserve. Now, normally when you put people in reserve, you have to use the um, stri- um, power rating, right? Yes. When he put, when you put someone in reserve, you have that power rating. So essentially, you can put more people in reserve than you're normally allowed, which is amazing. Mm-hmm. Especially when we talk about wraiths, which I keep bringing up. That's where I'll get to it. 
Um, Spear of Twilight, it's a super powerful weapon. I mean, it's, it's, the AP well, it is literally killing damage. him, so. Yeah. It, it, the point is, he's got a stronger power weapon than Trajan. Um, but the reason he's so important, why I'm talking about him, um, and this was some of the leaks as well. He, um, if you take a Yandan, you know, so Wraith, um, which did also, um, have a preview. You know, I'll just, no, no, I won't skip to it. But Wraiths essentially will get buffed by him because Wraiths mm -hmm. have a flamer, which I don't think was released, but this is a leak. The flamer for Wraiths used to be D6 shots, eight inches. I shit you not, eight inches. Right? So you couldn't even deep strike and shoot the, the flamers. <laughs> D6 shot, 8 inches. Yeah, I know. Strength 10, uh, AP minus 4, 1 damage, right? Okay. So super powerful shot, but you could, literally could. So it moved up to 12 inches. Still strength 10, D6 shots, blast, AP minus 4, 1 damage. You have to hit with it, though, right? Okay. Now race normally hit on threes. Okay. And they normally don't have access to rerolls. You stick him near that. Now you have 5d6 shots hitting on threes, rerolling ones at strength 10, AP minus four, one damage mm. coming out of deep strike. Or coming out of your fancy is, webway, which we'll get to. Or Oh, yes, we'll get to that in a moment. Yeah. We haven't been talking. Actually, I, I this is funny, and he, I hope he listens to this recording. As I'm fucking speaking, I swear to God, Dave, Luke yeah. texts me and he goes, hey, yo, so do you have a web, webway available? <laughs> Webways have uh, uh, no no joke to this. Webways have been sold out for about a year now. Yeah, yeah you I, can't. I'm get not sure before. I should tell them that I do. I have one. I actually have one. I'm not surprised. I bought no, don't, one. Don't tell me. I bought it for I bought it for training purposes. Tell him you don't have it. But yeah, no, so and then we're gonna him, see if he listens because then he'll be like, "You you said that you didn't have one," and you talked exactly. about the podcast that you do. Um. It's a test. No, so, um, yeah, his ability to buff specifically my army, too, that's just the weird part, uh, is 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 just immeasurable. So it sucks that I have to pick him up because he's not fluffy for me, but I might just have to pick him up to make them more powerful. You know, you're allowed, you're allowed to play lists for fun, just so you know. Eh, when it comes to Warhammer 40,000, this was 30,000 or something, I'd, I'd agree. You with. can still play this for fun. You just make it, you talk to your opponent ahead of time like you're doing 30K. Yeah, true. That's okay, all. so that's Prince Ural. Um, all right, so it goes the it goes the Highland Banshees. Man, they've just been. I get Elder oh are a big God, thing. No. I I think they're popular. You okay, know. so no, they just got they got changed and me they got changed so completely. I should point out. Um. Yes. Yes, they, they did. They completely. So their Howling Mask is now completely different. Oh, absolutely. Um. It it they you get rid of um defensible terrain, which is really really good. Um. They can't, first of all, they can't, so defensible terrain, for those who don't know, allows you to overwatch on a five up, which mm -hmm. is amazing. Um, well, they can't even uh, so you can't overwatch, overwatch can't or set to, set to defend. You can't even just do either one. Yeah. And you strike last. Yep. They give you strike last. So you're going to walk which out of that webway wow. and you're going to give whoever you walk into strike last. Oh my God. That's just fucking nuts. Um, they also, so you can't hit them well, so you can only hit them on uh, one less, which doesn't really matter for custodies, but like for some other things that hit on threes, now you're hitting on fours, which is, and now you're wound when you, when you, um, charge, you get add one to the attack roll. Like, yeah, no, it's just. Yeah, the attack wound roll, yeah. Overall, an excellent right. unit. Yeah, just, yeah. just they so, got changed completely, and it's all for the. Yeah. It, it mentions in there that their Banshee Blades bring their attacks um, up to strength four. Which, oh, yeah, that's right, because they were strength three. Oh, my lord. I'm yes. Crazy. Oh, they've been so bad. Yeah, so so yeah, their weapons will put them to strength four. So on the turn they charge, now they're wounding, you know, your average model now on threes instead of fours or potentially fives. I mean, they were always good units, but mostly toughness three, sort of strength three. So they, they did their job well. But they weren't necessarily very survivable. They definitely feel like they've upped a lot of survivability here. Oh yeah, yeah. And and all of that goes to being able to come lovely out of. Oh, I don't think I pulled up the the portal. We can talk about the portal. I didn't pull no, it. No, no, I got the portal. Yeah, you if you want to talk about it, you you can. I uh, know you can talk about the portal. I'll I'll pull it up here. So the portal. Oh. So first of all, as Dave just told me right now, by the way, it's been sold out for how many? About a year. 
about a year. Yeah. I actually have a web light portal. Ironically, I don't know why I have one. I think it was just to build when I was building my rates. I wanted something cool, right? Yeah. By the way, so it's a fortification, which normally fortifications are, um, yeah. you know, destructible, which is great, except now they're immune to harm. Yep, it's indestructible. Okay. It, it's indestructible. Okay, that's cool. They also provide um, light cover, heavy cover. Unstable position means you just can't put someone on top of there, which makes sense. Yeah. Um, they add one to the leadership. Again, who gives a shit? This is all pretty cool. So it's light cover. You deploy light cover. <sighs> okay. Web Two sides three. set up within three of each <laughs> other and all that. Yes. Yeah. Which essentially now means um, that you can now basically, I'll just read it. Each time an very unit from army arrives from strategic reserves, you can set it anywhere on the battlefield that is wholly within six inches of both the Wraithbone arches. Both, by the yeah. way, uh, of of a friendly web brigade unit. If so, you can set up within nine inches of enemy models and be set up with an engagement range of enemy models. Yeah. You can this, charge out. Yes, this this is oh my god. Um I don't even know what to say about this. <laughs> and, and 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 in the rules it specifically says, you know, essentially you can be set up an engagement range, you're gonna count as charging, and they can't overwatch you. Now they can't overwatch you because it's the movement phase, but I essentially you can charge out and can't respond. Yes. Also, because it's worded the same fucking way that the custodies one is, um, this is not a heroic intervention. No, it's not. So they cannot heroically intervene you, meaning that if they, well, I mean, this is done in your phase anyway, but yeah. they cannot heroically intervene into you. This is, this is, this is insane. This no. is, this is miraculously I'm, insane. Well, yes and no. I think it can. Now, the webway has to be set up with, is it within 12 of yours outside, more than 12 away from the enemy deployment zone or any other models? Okay. okay. So you're at, you're a little bit short of half the board. Um, okay. this is great at sitting on an objective and guaranteeing that you will get the objective because well, you, I, if you, you have a unit in reserve, board. you can get it anytime you wish, essentially. So here's the thing, because I own it and also someone did the math on Reddit. Yeah. This is why it's insane, Dave. Yeah. Um, the webway, uh, if you place it in the dead center of the board, mm -hmm. exactly in range of each other. Right. Yeah. Um, although some people have, have been fucking around and overlapping the webway to gain more range but just ignore that for a second we're not going to play stupid okay. um <laughs> like they they line up in a straight line right yeah some people have been fucking around like the, the, people are going to people um the overall range you can get on this is 18 inches when you, when you or, mean? sorry uh 12 so essentially because you place it directly in the board center of the board right oh you mean like how far you up you a, can be on the board yes okay meaning the way objectives are placed in every single mission, hmm. no matter what center objective you're holding, I will be able to get a six inch charge or a zero inch charge. If you're in the middle, I will be able to get a six inch charge off on you. Oh, yes. Oh, no. I, I think this is very strong for the fact that you can set this up somewhere and you can guarantee that at the moment you want, you can contest, take, or at least fight me off of an objective. Um, the fact that you have to get within six of both, I think, does at least limit where you can go. Like, if you put that thing in the middle, okay, that, I know, that's you, why you can do that. Some people are, yeah, some mm -hmm. people are saying, oh, does it have to be deployed? Like, see how it's deployed in the picture? Yes. Where it's like, to a, some people are like, does it have to be deployed like that? And what they're doing is they're overlapping it by two inch. Well, basically, they're placing one behind the other, essentially. Okay. So that in, you lose. A certain amount of range, but you get more set range. I I, I don't know how to explain it. I'm probably saying yeah. The article um, no, out. it's it's so you get to make more of a circle rather than ellipse. Um, exactly. That that's really what they're trying to do. Um, but again, that's stupid and also power gamey. And please stop trying to break the game. I agree. I <laughs> please. I'm not. I'm not overly worried about the web gate web web portal. I like. I think it's good. I think, you know, you're going to know what they have in reserves. I don't know. Have they lead? Do they have a way to take models other than probably? Yes, um, they do. You can take, you can, take them off the board uh, and put them into reserves. Them. 
Yep, put him in reserves. And okay. uh, warp That's spiders cool. very specifically can just do that native uh, for a stratagem point. They just deep strike into a webway. Yeah, that I'm not surprised by. Like, I think there's some concern there. But to me, okay, you, you sat there. That's your objective. If the I don't think I can handle what could come out of there, then I just have to go after everything else. Exactly. And know? the big problem, so here's the thing. Like, I play Praetorian Plate Shield Captain from Custodes, right? Yeah. And everyone knows what he does. Everyone can see how much of a pain in the ass he is. Now take that and multiply it by an entire goddamn, like, aspect warrior squad. You know what I mean? And that's where people are like, oh, shit. Well, but you here's know, the thing. This, this... I st even with that, though, I know where you're going. Because you don't, you don't have board control. You can't go anywhere you want. You're coming out of there. So my options are I'm going to put someone there who can deal with it. I'm going to put someone there at a position where I am safe or I'm going to avoid you. And sooner or later, you're going to have to come out because what? It's turned three. Your your reserves have to be out by. Uh, yes. So unless they um, enter reserves. Yeah. Yeah. So if they start on and then go off. They can come on turn five if they want. OK. So no, 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 they can't. Mm -hmm. they, I think they fact though, not that I know of. Do they add a fact? Because it was always um, they redid the fact. If it starts point. on the table, then it's good. But if it doesn't enter the table at some capacity, oh, I guess because Mechanicum three, can bad. do that. Yeah, no, okay, yeah. never mind, never mind. I'm all right, right. I, I mean, yeah, because then like all the strats that put you back in reserve are useless. Exactly. After yeah. Table. yeah. I mean, I was. Is it concerning? Yes. Is it probably the most worrying thing? No. If that's where no, they want to be, no, they set up not. there. No, avoid it. Yeah. That's theirs then. If you can't deal with it, let them have it. I've seen. So this is definitely not the most worrying thing that I've seen in yeah. all of the other codex. Yeah. No. Not in my long shot. Yeah. It's just something else to add to the power. Yep. Also, fun fact: um, we don't know the cost. Um, eighty points. Like I this, want to say it was. Right. Currently, 80? is eighty. Oh, I thought they even said again it was it was something like that. I thought somewhere it was oh, shown right. or was leaked out, maybe. Oh, That's yeah, like no. Oh, uh, here it is. One CP. It's literally one CP to um uh one CP to basically uh deep strike uh in out of the webway. Okay. Mm. So but is, is that a, a current one or is that a leaked one that they have? Nope. Now it's in the actually in the Warcom article. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, you're right there. I see it now for one CP. Yeah. Um, can come right out. Uh, come here, point now for a paltry one. You can crash land immensely powerful. All right, I said avoid it if you can't handle what's going to come out of there. There's a whole lot of other board. Um, and then I'll take the next one. I yeah, the, the the last one I think is it, it, the now, big things is the Wraith Knights here. Yes, and I will lump in with this since I do know the leaked information. I will lump in yeah. the other Wraith units as well. No, yeah, do so. so uh, Wraith units overall now will have um, minus one damage, yep. uh, which is massive. So they're like a dreadnought. Uh, remember, yes, but remember, they're toughness six, toughness eight, and then toughness eight. Yeah. Um, toughness six being the Wraith Guard, Wraith Blades, toughness eight being the Wraith Lords and Wraith Knights. Mm. Uh, so damage minus one is 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 big, even for the smaller, well, smaller quote unquote Wraith Guard. Um, the the model also has a five up in mm -hmm. vulnerable, which is is really really good native. Yeah. Uh, originally, the wraith knight had no invulnerable save yeah, had to whatsoever. Uh, yeah, unless you took a scatter shield, which then made it a five up. So now it's a five up natively. Mm -hmm. um, scatter shield puts it to a four a five up. up natively with yeah that becomes a four up. Mm -hmm. uh, again, very amazing stuff. Uh, it's Ghost Glaive now can actually deal with people. So before, what would happen is um, you'd have to um, Titanic Stomp instead of using your sword, um, um, it, which sucked. It, it felt bad. You want to use your sword. Now the sword has a stronger sweep. So like if you have a gun gun or a gun shield, you can still Titanic Stomp, which is great. But the sweep is actually pretty freaking powerful as well with AP minus three, two damage. Um, and it's also and, three attack. And rolls yeah, it's of three one. per each, which is huge. Yes, which is, I think, the feet are two per. And then, um, let me see. They, they used to be three, ah. actually. The feet used to be oh, three. Oh, this used to be three. 
Yeah, but the okay. AP was only a mi minus two, and it was D3 damage instead of a flat two, and I'd always rather have flat two. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the sun cannon got better. Both guns got better, I should point yes. out. Both guns got better. So, uh, blast again. Shocking. <laughs> again, we talked about why blast is really good. Why you would be shooting this into a squad is beyond me, but, you know, maybe a five-man Terminator squad. Um, mm -hmm. It's blast, well, heavy 2d6. Strength 8, AP minus 3, 3 damage. Yep, Very good. It's better. Yep. And, yeah. and then, um, the, because they didn't release it, uh, I have the picture up here. I'm trying to pull it up a little bit. And Wraith Lord. Um, but yeah, no, so I'll, I will talk about the other leaks. A Yandin, they haven't leaked what a Yandin does, but I kind of can tell you. A okay. Yandin also now... Give me a second. Pick up a Yandin... And Wraith Lord profile. So um, a Yandin now can basically reduce the rend of weapons by one, right? So if you're hitting Ooh. me with a rend minus one weapon, it's rend minus zero. If you're hitting me with a rend minus two, it's minus one, so on and so forth, which is really, really good. Um, and then on top of it, um, there. now what's really cool is we're not sure if the Ford... We're not really sure if um, the uh, Forge World units are going to get an update. Um, but that being said, uh, the Wraith Seers, not the Wraith Lords, but the Wraith Seers, which are Wraith Lords with psychic powers, um, might you know they now can buff units with their new psychic powers. Basically, Wraith units are amazing. <laughs> that's, that's where I'm getting okay. to. Wraith units are now absolutely amazing. Um the axes are now damaged too, which, again, doesn't really, it does it, that hasn't been released, but it is what we know. What were they before one, um, or was it like a D three? They were damaged D three. They were damaged okay. D three, and they were also minus one to hit. Um, oh, okay, yeah. Like a power fist, yeah, like a power fist. They were really, really bad. Um, now they're not. They lo they lost the minus one to hit, uh, and now they're just flat two damage. Um. Just again, overall, just just really good overall um, rules, in my opinion. Um, yeah, that, that's all. And I play a Wraith Army, so obviously yeah. I'm happy. But it also, you know, it also makes me happy. I, I don't know. It's <laughs> like, I don't want it to be overpowered, obviously, right? Because then I can't find games where people get piss pissy about it. Yeah. But by the same token, it's just, it's really good to have... Um, oh, here we are. Um, so the Warlord trade is um, Feel No Pain. So this is for a Yandin, by the way. Feel No yeah. Pain. On a 5+, plus, that wound is not lost. Um, uh, oh, I, I remove... Add 1 to the combat attrition test. Uh, testing. What this so basically, uh, I only... I basically never fail uh, leadership. Um, reduce Ren by 1. My Relic... Uh, ooh. So my relic is literally select a uh, spirit host unit, which is a wraith card unit, within nine, um, add one to the attack characteristics of the model. That mm. used to be a psychic power. Actually, sorry. It is still a psychic power. Okay. So plus two attacks on a unit. Very nice. Also, oh shit, they gained the battle focus ability. Hello. Okay. Um, guided wraith sight is a stratagem. Um, okay, so basically, I can select a unit and pretend like they're in range of the spirits here, which is supposed to buff them. Hmm. So, yeah, just overall, just overall amazing stuff. Hmm. Um, I think last bit of news that we'll do anyway, then, because there's been so answer. much, so much Eldar. And they, I said, they're looking good. I'm curious. I, I, I want to see when the book comes out, read through it, and see if it's all the hype that people say. People love to hype stuff up. I'm not saying they won't be, but people absolutely love to hype stuff up. So I actually want to see it first before I start believing uh, the utter craziness. Yeah. And in the beginning, no matter how great they are, they're going to win a bunch anyway because people don't know what to do against them. People don't know how to play exactly. them. People are going to get, you know, they're going to put some something through the webway portal that you're not going to know how to deal with. You know, someone, they're going to throw Helen Banshees out of there or something. <laughs> give, give it a couple months and then we'll really know the strength. Again, they might be very strong, exactly. but... So then the last bit of news we'll 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 do um is rotation. I'm surprised it took them this long. Yes. 
I agree. I mean, they kind of done it soft core for the last yes. couple of years, where they just don't bother restocking it. things. Like they, <laughs> what was it like nine months of no Tyranid Hive Hiveguard? Yep. Like shit like that. So now it's just an official policy instead of a, oops, your army just has no models. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I honestly I, I think it's good. Their line is so big. Else. Yeah. The last thing you want to go is the privateer press sort of problem you had where over 3, you have a thousand points. skews plus. You know? Oh my god. Oh yeah. Like Pri- you, that you've was seen the problem. The, um, price had. change PDF, right? The yeah. Spreadsheet. Like when you print it out, it's like 37 pages. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. Jesus they have. Um, it is a little bit over three, uh, about 3,100, um, items. Now, some, some of those are also Forge World items. There's a it bunch of those. And, Forge World. Yeah. yeah. But Even their then, entire like, range is, is 3,100 or so items. So, yeah, retire some of these people who are just, a lot of them are just really, and they're also just very old models. Yeah. You know, these aren't right. current things. I, I know people are very... I know some people are kind of off on this because they want to play with their old models. But is it, they're not but stopping you from playing with them. They're exactly. not even going it's, legends. No. Yeah, exactly. You can still play with them. I you just can't know, buy this thing. I don't understand why they got rid of the flesh tears. I do know, actually, I do know why they got rid of flesh tears. Um, because there's a 3D printer that they've been trying to knock down um, who does flesh tear shoulder pads that are better than theirs. <laughs> but also, so again, it's a bit older. And and and, and yeah. I'm sure, I, at least I would think, it's not that long ago. No, it's but for a character and things like that, that at least fifth edition, all uh, the the Blood Angel characters and all that was at least fifth. Oh, it was yeah. fifth. Captain I was, I, I was Tycho? there. Oh, Tycho's old as balls. Tycho yeah. and Dante old old balls. Yeah. I mean, you can go through and look oh, and like see Gabriel which ones are older. The shoulder pads and yeah, but. I, again, they're Some not the oldest mad. models. I they just have, don't but... care. I honestly, I think it's good for it when it's all said and done. Because if you want to be able to get your models in a more timely fashion, they literally have to be producing less stuff. The more stuff they have available, switch out molds. All of that's going to take time. If you want Brother Kabulo, you, you've had at least since fifth and earlier to get him. Get him, and he's not gone forever, and you're still going to be able to find him. But if you really want him, buy him. You know. I wish they told us how long the rotations would be. Yeah. Like, is it a six month rotation, a two year rotation? Yeah. That, Honestly, that's the only part problem. of it reads to me like they're trying to cash in on FOMO a little oh, bit. Oh, absolutely. Like, yes, like we haven't moved these models. Quick, okay. buy them before they're gone. Are you trying to or actually doing? Eh, that's fair. I I think there's some FOMO that's occurring. And then I think there's a lot of neckbeardy anger of how dare you not produce this model that I already have and I won't buy or. Oh, you're not doing this uh, Captain Tycho anymore. Yeah. Well, I don't have Blood Angels. Like, I'll, I'll never play them. I don't need him. But why aren't you producing him? You know? Exactly. It, listen, sometimes the, le, there are so many things you can be legitimately mad at Games Workshop for. This is not one of them. No. I do. <laughs> we literally spent 30 minutes on price increases for Christ's yeah. sake. I do agree, Stop though. They should, t- they should give some sort of indication of what this rotation timeline is. That would assuage so many fears. If they told you, hey, these guys will be back next year and they'll be back in a year and you'll have a month to buy them or something. I think then you get a lot less complaints. I think a lot of people are saying like, it's the same sort of concern when they started doing Primaris and everyone was like, so like my normal Space Marines are just going to be phased out. They're like, no, they're not. And yet it was the, It's those time. concerns. <laughs> I still think they're going to phase them out someday. But. Yeah, but they are, but that's okay. Well, it's a slow and gradual process. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm happy with it. I think it's fine, and it's all characters. Exactly. It's no one like that you absolutely battle. needed to have. I I've never once seen someone run any of these fucking cap. Cantor, Pedro Cantor, I've seen. I've Cantor, seen I have seen, and I have seen Seth, but only like people who are like flesh terrors. And I've seen Artemis, but only because Artemis is used as a normal Death Watch captain, not even his name. Yeah, yeah, he's just a cool Artemis is Death like Watch the captain. only plastic model in that lineup too, right? Or there's like two plastic models. 
It's all it's old much. metals that transition to fine cast. Yes, yeah, exactly. I remember. Groove cut. Yeah, so like I said, it's not mad. No, it's fine. Do it. it it's, it's what fine. they need to do anyway. Not bad well, maybe it is. I didn't realize that the, that someone else's center was making better shoulder pads because I did think that was weird. Like, why yeah. the shoulder pads? Yeah. Um, that I felt like a weird inclusion. Who it was, but um, GW has been trying to shut them down for a while, um, oh, and the guy basically said you can you cannot trademark um, the word for, like he had them as a different name, obviously, right? Yeah. And he changed the symbol a little bit, but it was a lot cooler yeah. than just a little like buzz saw with a teardrop. Um, and and they couldn't win. It's basically the chapter house thing, chapter house thing all over again. Yeah, and, and they're not going to like no certain things like that. It's too generic. You you can't trademark a general look. Can't trademark Space Marine. Sorry. No. Well, they're not even the ones who had the trademark on it. it. Was before them. But all right. So so that so that gives us the news. I, th I think we'll 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 stop with the news there because that's so so many things. Yeah. No, it's a lot. And that'll do it for us tonight. I want to start just by thanking everyone for listening on whatever mode that you do listen to this. Remember, we do put this out both on whatever podcatcher that you have, as well as we have a YouTube channel, Train Kickers Podcast, where we put all these episodes and a, a bit of video and things like that with it. And the hope is, is in the near future, we'll be able to put out more content there as well, and particular content, more than just a few of the battle reports that we've done. If you like the content that we're putting out, then we just ask that you like, share, subscribe, any of those, depending on which sort of platform you're on. If you're on one of the podcatchers, leaving reviews or, or just sharing and letting people know and subscribing really helps. If you're on YouTube, same exact thing. Likes, subscribes, all of that really helps us to be able to keep making the content that we'd like to and be able to expand it from here. And now on behalf of everyone on the show, good gaming.